Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. to Long Boys Post 1975. You read the question. I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Um, oh, by the way, it's a Wednesday and or Thursday, possibly weekly vlog. Never mind. Not sure what it's going to be. It's based on something that was uh, said to me at work the other day, or yesterday, that's kind of put a bug up my ass and I've been thinking about for, uh, well, ever since. Uh, a good 24 hours, if you will. Um, having a YouTube channel, putting yourself on camera, is that ultimately an act of vanity? Um, because someone, a few people now at work know I've got a YouTube channel uh, and then it trickles down to other people that you, you wouldn't necessarily want to know you've got it, I'm not ashamed of it, I just don't openly advertise it in the place of work because lots of people, uh, how shall I put this, cough narrow-minded. Uh, their idea of a hobby is, well, I don't know, going to the pub Saturday night and getting bladdered. You know, to see someone put themselves on camera, uh, debate, discuss, or play video games is probably a very alien concept to them. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm not ashamed of it. I just can't be asked to deal with people like that. But as I said, it trickles down and people find these things out. Uh, and so I'm not basically, <clears throat> excuse me, sausages for tea. Um, Richmond's skinless, they're amazing. Never mind. Uh, yeah, accused me, well, not me specifically per se, but vloggers in general of saying um, people who YouTube or people specifically who put themselves on camera are ultimately vain and do so for nothing but attention. <clears throat> and I tried to argue my point with this person but they weren't interested because such is the way with certain people when you know they make a bold statement they simply aren't interested uh, in debate or discussion they just put it out there. <clears throat> Arrogance and uh, narrow-mindedness I think is what it's called. Um, and obviously there will be people in this community, as there will be in every walk of life, who are simply in it for, you know, attention and, and vanity. Um, cough on it, son, you twat. Sorry, um, <clears throat> where did that come from? Um, but to, to tar everyone with the same brush, uh, with that, that statement to me is kind of bold. I, I can see where someone who doesn't understand the sort of in and outs of YouTube might say that from an outsider's perspective and ignorance, but um, am, I, am I vain for putting myself on camera? You know, uh, I don't think so. Um, there's a reason I do. I understand that there's a reason lots of people don't, but the, the, the bottom um, line here is, or the, 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 the deal kicker is, you can debate, you can discuss, you can do anything, you know, and I'm not talking about gameplays here, I'm talking about vlogs. <clears throat> Sorry, Richmond Sausages again. You can do anything you want, and there's nothing wrong with people who don't put themselves on camera, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying anything wrong with that, but ultimately, it, as in real life, uh, it's more of a community position to see the individual in front of you. You know, whether they're on a TV screen or on a monitor or on your phone or whatever. But seeing the individual in front of you holds your attention more. Uh, it feels a more personal experience. You, you know, your, your point of view uh, and your interests and, the, you know, the, the point you're trying to make come across uh, more vehemently strongly uh, if you can see an individual to hold your attention. <clears throat> Is that vanity? No. That's, that's just the nature of the beast. Is it vanity? I mean, look at my hair. I'm on a really bad hair day. If, I, if this was about vanity, I would have fucking combed it or something. Actually, true story. I haven't put a comb through my hair since 2006. I haven't put hair products in my hair since 2006. That was completely random. Actually, that does sound vain. No, but my point is, how is it vain to sit there, want to discuss debates, reach out, meet people, talk to people? How, how, how is that vain? You know, that's, that's just communication. The fact that we now have the luxury of putting ourselves in it, is a, you know, ourselves on the screen, that's not vanity. That's just, that's common sense. Maybe I've misinterpreted this, and maybe I've got a bug up my ass for the wrong reason, but what do you think? Do you think, do you think, you know, the fact that, our vlog is vain. As I said, some will do it for attention, but I think the majority of us don't. I think it's just, it's a 
a means to an end. It's a it's a useful tool to be able to portray yourself on portray yourself. Now I'm an actor to put yourself on screen. As I said, nothing wrong with people who don't, but to me at least, is a vlogging tool. It's just more personal, more you know, to put yourself out there. It's it's just how it is. Ah, oh, I wish I could have explained to this idiot. I'm struggling to explain to you now. Um, where I was coming from in this, you know. Again, people will always judge the majority by the act of the minority, cut off Aniston. But um, how, how, is it, how is it vain that you, you're given an ability to reach out and communicate with people, but put more of your heart and your soul and your personality into it by simply being there and talking with yourself on screen? Anyway, this has got away from me. Like I said, it put a bug up my ass. I'd love to know what you think, you know. It's, a vlogger's basically, you know, or having a YouTube channel when you're on camera, is it an act of vanity or is it something more? I'd love to know what you think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.